Hey there, Taki Moore here. In this quick video, I wanna answer a question I got at a Million Dollar Coach Intensive the other day uh, from a great coach called John in the US who does lots and lots of one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. And the question is, his question was, when I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, I get to do magic, right? I get to, you know, there's parts of helping people that you can really only do one-on-one, -on -one, in his words, not mine. And, uh, you know, it's the part where they bring you stuff and you reach in your bag of tricks and you can, you know, make magic happen and, yeah. and uh, help them out. And so the question was, g'day Justin, the question was, how do you do that in a group? Awesome question, got an answer because I just did it and uh, I thought it might be worth doing a quick little backstage peek. So I'm here in, uh, in the uh, Casa del Webinario, right here, the webinar room, and uh, just ran a webinar that we do uh, every single week with our Black Belt members called The Weekly Sherp. And The Weekly Sherp is uh, the metaphor of a Sherpa. You know, the Sherpas are somebody who's been up the mountain a bunch of times, can help make the load lighter and, you know, help you shortcut the process, get to the top quicker, right? Uh, normally I run, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, normally the Sherp team runs this, I ran it today, and uh, it's really a group coaching call. And so remember, the question is, how do I coach a group and still keep the magic? Here's how you do it. So uh, the uh, every single week with our clients, we ask them a few questions. And so the weekly show is built like this. Uh, I'm here at kind of Control HQ with my iPad, uh, current slide, next slide, and uh, clients on board. And so we kick it off just by asking uh, four key questions. Number one, what are your biggest wins? And uh, this is a question to ask because most of my clients, and maybe most of yours, uh, run businesses where you're the point person, you know, you're the coach, you're the point person, you're the person who's expected to come up with the answers a lot, and when you win, nobody sees, right? And so we're, so number one, it's nice to be publicly recognized. Uh, number two, for me personally, I love seeing my clients win, it does my heart all manner of good. And number three, uh, it's really important that your clients aren't always, I mean, you personally probably as well, me too, you're not, we're not always just kind of striving for the next thing, you know, oh, I haven't got there yet, haven't got, we're always kind of chasing the, the, the mountain instead of uh, feeling good about the wins we've just had and that inspires us to do more. So we start with, what do you, what do you, number two, uh, what, what's the biggest thing you've learned? Right, and so people are typing in their answers to this while we do the chat. So what's your biggest win? Celebrate the wins together. Read out people's names and uh, their wins and give them a virtual high five, right? Next, what have you learned? Sometimes you win, Sometimes you learn, right? So we've got a culture in Black Belt to be progressionists, not perfectionists. We don't want to just celebrate the wins, we want to celebrate the, the, the lessons as well. So what have you learned about yourself, about business, about coaching, about clients, about marketing, right? The clearer I can be about what the wins are, then we can embed those learnings so you don't just kind of have it happen, but if we pause and reflect, things get better, cool? So what are your wins? Number two, what, what are the lessons you've learned? Third question, really good, uh, calibration question for a coach, what's, uh, what's your project you're working on right now? And you'll notice uh, if you kind of look at here, we've got a capital P at the start and an L and a W. The reason we do that is that when people type in their answers into the chat box, if it's a win, they do a big capital W at the start. So when I'm looking through the chat box, I can see people's, you know, if I can see, you know, 50 comments, I'm looking for the W's and I can call out the wins. And then when it's a lesson, it starts with a big L. So I know lesson, lesson, lesson. When it comes to a project, I know what people are working on. I love this question. It starts to focus my clients into kind of what do we really need to work on, but it also helps me kind of get a finger on the pulse about what uh, individual clients in my group are working on, focused on what's kind of keeping them awake right now. Make sense? So what are you working on? And then fourth, most important question. What do you need? Most right now, hey, coaching question. You know, every coach, every coaching call should start with what do you need right now? So we don't start with fluff or filler, right? But we can go, so what do you need most right now? And, and um, so today, Michelle over in the UK said, uh, yo, she was one of the people on the line. She said she needed a hand with uh, um, getting opt-ins at a live event where she's a guest speaker. She's got 40 minutes to teach X topic. Uh, and normally she'd do a call to action, which is, you know, bring me your card at the end of the, yeah, the break, but she's got two speakers directly after her and she's first, there's no break for like an hour and 20 minutes after her. And so we needed to come up with a way to um, to do this. So the previous three questions, you know, the, the uh, what's your wins? And 
and what are your lessons and what are you working on? These are questions that people type in their answers to when I see them and a little chat box fits in here. When it comes to what do you need help with right now, people will type them in, that'll give me a sense of what they need and then we just uh, unmute. And so it's me and my client, one-on-one -on -one connected. Here's what's cool about that, I get to do the magic and so do you. People always say one-on-one -on -one coaching is better than group coaching. I think if that's the case, you're doing group coaching wrong and you're limiting yourself by only doing one-on-one. -on -one. I love one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I love doing one-on-one -on -one coaching in a group format. I think it's a bit special. So uh, people say what they need most right now, and I can take them off mute, and I can help them out. Uh, you can help them out. For me, I'm a drawer, so while uh, this conversation's coming up, we can uh, talk about, you know, in this case, when in the talk, the call to action happens. We, went, we had a physical option, which was a uh, write it on the card, drop it on the side, of, you know, down, down the aisles or on your table and I'll come collect it. And we ended up coming up with a much better strategy around building it into the, the action plan and having an essay. So here's what I wanted to say from today. Firstly, give you a little backstage behind how we run group coaching webinars and how one-on-one -on -one, uh, group coaching can be as good or better than one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but the other thing that I love about it is while I'm helping, in this case, Michelle, as soon as I've chatted with Michelle, I can, f I can open up, you know, come up from the level of Michelle and I to the group and go, so what was the biggest aha you just got from this interaction with Michelle and I? People can share their insights. Perfect. How could that apply to you? Fantastic. And here's how we wrap up the webinar. Every one of these webinars has worksheets which go along with it, but they, uh, if we had to sum simplify it down, we'd go, so what are your top three takeaways from this? What are the three things you've learned? You know, I learned this and that and that. Fantastic. Okay, great. What are your first three actions? Because inspiration without action is nothing. Does that make sense? Hey, Michelle, great to have you here. So that's the goal. I want to show you that running a group coaching webinar can be as good, even better, than just doing it one-on-one. -on -one. Here's what's cool about it. It allows you to serve more people. It allows you to do the magic, you know, the kind of creative fun bit that you get to do when you're working one-on-one -on -one with clients. In fact, today, in helping Michelle out, I built a brand new strategy for getting more leads from a live event. And it wouldn't have come about if she and I hadn't have been chatting today. So to Michelle, I want to say thanks to you for this piece. Anyway, uh, that's a quick little backstage on, on wrong camera. I, I moved instead of just I pressed a button instead of just moving. That's a little backstage on how to help clients in a group format so they get the same kind of results they get if they worked with you one-on-one. -on -one. But now you can scale it, you can help more people, you can make more money, you can have a ton more fun. Hopefully that helps.